Yeah, my name is Bruno, and I started the Wasm Core project. Hi there, and welcome to Context Free, where we talk about programming languages. Today, I'm excited to announce the Wasm 4 Game Jam, taking place from January 14th through January 23rd. And you just heard from Bruno, the original creator of the Wasm 4 Fantasy Console. And for those who aren't familiar with them, a fantasy console is a kind of fictional computer for running, say, video games or other apps, often with artificially limited hardware capabilities. Such consoles are often programmed in Lua or other interpreted languages. But Wasm 4, using WebAssembly, brings support for systems languages, and many more. And several are supported directly by the Wasm 4 project. Like many fantasy consoles, Wasm 4 has explicit limits to what it can do. And one of the key benefits of this is that you have to make small games, because the world could use a lot more small software. So let's look at an example of making a new Wasm 4 project. So if you've downloaded the W4 toolchain and put it on your path, or installed it in some fashion, then you can use the built-in templates to get a project started, like this. Okay, we've got a new project. Let's take a look at that C file right here. It includes a wasm4.h header, which it builds for you automatically inside of your project. This is the entire API for the Fantasy Console. And here we have a two color sprite. We set the colors we're using, use the built-in text rendering, check for button presses, draw the sprite, and print more text. Let's run this. In fact, I'll use the W4 watch tool to do so. Hello from C. Awesome. And we can also use audio in this. Let me take this example here. We also have documentation in assembly script D, Go, Nim, Odin, Rust, and Zig, as well as for C. And let's make a little bit of an audio sound whenever someone presses that button. But let's make it a lower pitch for a tenth of a second instead of a full second and only half volume. And note here that the W4 watch tool is automatically reloading the cart in the browser. So if we press X now, we get audio along with our changed color. And you can do more interesting audio than that as well. Check out, for example, the Neon Cat demo for some more interesting audio, perhaps. And in addition to the C demo here, let's take a look at the other templates as created by W4New. We have assembly script, C again, D, Go, Nim, Odin, Rust, and Zig. And make sure to look at the requirements on wasm4.org to set up each of these languages for use with Wasm4. There's also been some work on a Docker image to bundle up these languages automatically. And we might be able to give some pointers to that later for those who are interested. You can also check out GitHub, forums, and Discord for Wasm4 as well. And if you go to the website here, there's plenty of already created games available to use as inspiration for your own games. So let's see how well I can play this. Okay, sweet. Jump. Ooh, awesome. Oops, I messed up. So there's four colors. You can control your palette. And with a 64K limit on the cartridges, all these games load very quickly. So let's hear more about the background of Wasm4. I made Wasm4 because I've always been following WebAssembly, even before that when it was ASMJS. And at the time I was working on the Hacks compiler and I wanted to change the output of the JS target to support ASMJS. That never really went anywhere, but it's always been in the back of my mind to like learn WebAssembly and figure out how that all works. Earlier this year, I came across this project called UXN. UXN itself is kind of like a fantasy console. It's kind of like a virtual computer. And they have like an ideology where things should be very simple and very portable. And that kind of resonated with me a little bit. As someone who works in games, games that work on kind of obsolete devices or backend services that are no longer online, a lot of games that I've worked on like are no longer playable. So the ability to write a game and have that live in a small file that can be run like 100 years from now is kind of interesting to me. So that's what kind of led me down looking at UXN. And then as I was writing WebAssembly for that, I figured, well, why not just write directly on top of WebAssembly and use that as the basis for a fantasy console? 
So that's kind of how it was before we got started. I've never worked with fantasy consoles before, but I've always followed Pico 8, which is kind of like the grandfather project of all these mini consoles, these mini VMs. And what's funny is like every fantasy console after that kind of expanded on the capabilities of Pico 8. So they have more colors, more resolution. And originally wasn't for was that. So it was like 640 by 480, 64 colors. And then along the way, I kind of dropped that to 320 by 240. 16 colors and things kept getting chopped until we arrived at 160 by 160 in four colors. So why four colors? That was kind of like a big risk going from 16 to four colors, but I think it makes sense as long as the palette is customizable. So you, you still have a lot of design freedom. There's a lot of tricks you can do with only four colors, as long as you can cycle the colors. Uh, I originally wanted to go down to 128 by 128 like Pico, but 128 by 128 with only four colors makes things very difficult to actually present something on screen that's not just kind of mush. I think Pico got it right with the square resolution because it makes games more playable on mobile. So if you load up Wasm 4 on your phone and you rotate to landscape, you still have enough room on the sides for the D-pad and the buttons. It's a lot more fun to make small things and there are like interesting technical challenges with that. Yeah, and I looked at some of the sizes for the WASM files for the sample games. Everyone I looked at was already under 10K. So I presume there's a lot of space left to get a 64K limit. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even come close to hitting the 64K limit. Uh, and even when we do, like a lot of those cards are not optimized because they don't need to be because they're not even close to the limit. But like, I think like once someone creates like, you know, some huge RPG or something, there will be interesting tricks that they can use to, to bring the file size down. Very yeah. reminiscent to retro consoles and all the tricks that they had to use. Which I think is awesome. One goal of Wasm 4 is to make it easy to get started with WebAssembly because my first experience with working with Wasm was figuring out in Scripten and getting that working. And the tool chain is actually pretty complicated for Scripten. And then you need to write a bunch of JavaScript and then you need to connect things because, you know, Wasm by itself is just about moving bytes around and calling functions internally. There's no way to do input and output. There's no graphics. So the learning curve is actually pretty high to get started with WebAssembly. So one of the goals with Wasm 4 is to have the documentation there, to have a, like a nice command line interface to create a new project and then generate the make file for you. That's really simple. You just type make and then you have a cartridge that you can run, which is pretty unique. So what are you hoping comes out of the game jam? What are, you, what are you looking forward to in it? So I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone comes up with. I'm also looking forward to working on my own pet project. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Like I think at the end of this jam, we'll have a nice library of games, which would be interesting. I hope someone creates a multiplayer game because I have kind of ideas about adding Netplay support in the future. But until we have an interesting multiplayer game, that doesn't really make sense. Thank you for your time today. Right, thanks. thanks a lot, Tom. So, I hope that gets you all stoked about making games for Wasm 4. So follow the link to sign up for the Wasm 4 Game Jam that's kicking off on January 14th, hosted by both Bruno and me. And using any language that can fit the requirements of Wasm 4, let's make some awesome small things.